Suddenly, he stood up and told me we had to climb to a hilltop and stand up on an area clear of shrubs. Don't be afraid. I'm your friend, and I'll see nothing bad happens to you. What do you mean? I asked, alarmed. Don Juan had the most insidious facility to shift me from sheer enjoyment to sheer fright. The world is very strange at this time of day. That's what I mean. No matter what you see, don't be afraid. What am I going to see? I don't know yet, he said, peering in the distance. Suddenly, he perked up. There it is, he repeated. Look, look. I didn't see anything. It is here now, he said with great urgency in his voice. It is here. A sudden gust of wind hit me at that instant and made my eyes burn. I stared toward the area in question. There was absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. I can't see a thing, I said. You just felt it. Right now. It got into your eyes and kept you from seeing. What are you talking about? What, the wind? Not just the wind. It may seem to be wind to you, because wind is all you know. Don Juan began to tear some big branches. He gathered eight of them and made a bundle. He ordered me to do the same and to apologize to the tree in a loud voice for mutilating it. With tremendous speed, he arranged the branches of my bundle to cover my entire body. Then he covered himself in the same manner and whispered through the leaves, watch how the so-called wind would cease to blow once we become unnoticeable. To my utter amazement, the wind actually ceased to blow as Don Juan had predicted. I whispered to Don Juan that the wind had stopped, and he whispered back I should not make any overt noise or movement because what I was calling the wind was not wind at all, but something that had a volition of its own and could actually recognize us. I laughed out of nervousness. In a muffled voice, Don Juan called my attention to the quietness around us and whispered he was going to stand up and I should follow him. We stood up at the same time. Don Juan stared for a moment into the distance towards the south. Then he turned around abruptly and faced the west. Sneaky, really sneaky, he muttered, pointing to an area toward the southwest. Look, look, he urged me, but I did not notice anything at all. It's here. At that moment, I felt a blast of air in my face. It seemed that the wind actually began to blow after we stood up. I could not believe it. There had to be a logical explanation for it. Don Juan chuckled softly and told me not to tax my brain using reason. He very quickly put some branches over my body and then laid down and covered himself up. I waited for Don Juan's signal. At a given moment, he gently shoved off the branches. I did the same and we stood up. The hilltop was very quiet. There was only a slight, soft vibration of leaves in the surrounding chaparral. Don Juan's eyes were fixedly staring at an area in the shrubs south of us. There it is again, he exclaimed in a loud voice. I involuntarily jumped, nearly losing my balance and he ordered me in a loud, imperative voice to look. What am I supposed to see? I asked desperately. He said that it, the wind, or whatever, was like a cloud or a whirl that was quite a ways above the shrubs, twirling its way to the hilltop where we were. I saw a rippling formation on the bushes in the distance. This time, my reaction was different. I was terrified. I did not want to succumb to my fear and deliberately sought any kind of suitable explanation. What am I supposed to see? I've already told you. Something that hides in the wind and looks like a whirl, a cloud, a mist, a face that twirls around. Don Juan made a gesture with his hands to depict a horizontal and a vertical motion. It moves in a specific direction. It either tumbles or it twirls. A hunter must know all that in order to move correctly. I wanted to humor him, but he seemed to be trying so hard to make his point, I did not dare. He looked at me for a moment and moved his eyes away. To believe that the world is only as you think is stupid. The world is a mysterious place, especially in the twilight. This can follow us. It can make us tired or it might even kill us. What, that wind? At this time of day, in the twilight, there is no wind. At this time, there is only power. <laughs>